Hey everyone, GW Smallwood, The Shaving Disciple, and I've got another comparison video for you guys today. So today I'm going to be comparing the Razor Rock Black Hawk with the Razor Rock Hawk V3A, A standing for aggressive. I want to say a special thank you to IMCDB for lending me his V3A. Uh, this is one that I had been wanting to try for a while. Uh, he saw me mention it on one of my videos, and he kindly offered to lend me his. So thank you very much, Chris. Appreciate it. So the Blackhawk is what they call a V2. I'm pretty sure the main difference between the V2 and the V3 is the fact that all the V3s are stainless steel. Uh, the V2 is aluminum. So there's the first difference between these two for you guys. This one's aluminum. This one is 316 stainless steel. So the prices on these guys, the aluminum Blackhawk sells on Italian Barber's website right now for $29.99. The stainless steel Hawk V3A with the super neural handle, and I think it's the same price, no matter which handle variant you choose, is $69.99. So a little more than double the price for the stainless steel versus the aluminum. But both of those costs, very, very cost effective, very, very good costs when we're talking about CNC machined all metal razors. So this Blackhawk only comes with the option of the halo handle. So the Blackhawk has a 90 millimeter handle, which a lot of people don't know this, and I didn't know it for like the first eight months I owned this razor, but you can actually remove the bottom knob on the halo handles and it gives you a slightly shorter handle. So a little tip, if you have a halo handle and didn't know that, like I didn't know that, there you go. You can actually shorten the handle if you want to. The V3A razor that Chris lent me has the super neural handle on it, which is also a 90 millimeter handle, but you can actually get the V3A head with uh, most of Razor Rock's handles. So in these two configurations, this guy is 1.3 ounces. This guy is almost four. He's at 3.887 ounces. So obviously quite a bit heavier stainless steel compared to aluminum. The head geometries are very, very similar, but I wouldn't say they're the same. So particularly you can tell the cutout on the back end of the razor where the handle screws on is a little bit narrower on the V3A than it was on the, on the Blackhawk V2. And then the lather channels in the guard are a little bit different as well. So per Razor Rock's razor aggression scale that they have posted on their website, the Blackhawk is on the top of the medium mild aggression. And they have the, the Hawk V3A listed at the low end of their aggressive scale. So according to Razor Rock, the V3A is quite a bit more aggressive than the V2. Now, for those of you who aren't sure what I'm talking about when I say aggressive, um, there's two ways people typically look at that. One is in terms of how much blade feel you get from a razor, how much you can actually feel the blade against your skin. Now, what people usually mean by aggressiveness is also efficiency, which is how much hair does it actually cut at a, in a single pass. Now usually, but not always, razor aggression and razor efficiency kind of go hand in hand. The more blade feel you get from a razor, the more efficiently it'll typically cut. So let's go ahead and talk about the shaves a little bit. So I used Feather Professional Supers for my test. Um, so for those of you that don't know, these are single edge artist club style razors. So these blades are artist club style blades. Artist Club style blades are not the same as injector blades. They look very similar, but they're not the same. One of the unique things about the Artist Club style razors and the blades in particular is different blades will actually give you different levels of efficiency and or aggression. So different blades actually change the blade exposure or how far the actual cutting edge sticks out on the edge of the blade, giving you a more mild or more aggressive shave depending on which blade you pick. That's not typically the case with double edge razors. 
Uh, Double-edged razors typically have the same geometries. They just have different coatings, sometimes different bevels that make them feel a little bit different, but the geometry is pretty much the same. So I am using Feather Professional Supers, which are at the top of the aggressive slash efficiency scale when it comes to Artist Club style razors. And that's what I used for all of my tests. So I did a test where I ran just the Blackhawk for a few days in a row. And then I did the same thing with the Hawk V3A. Um, I also did a couple of different times where I shaved with them side by side. So I put a fresh blade in each of them, did half of my head with one razor, half of my head with the other razor. And then I actually repeated that on the other side just to make sure right hand versus left hand dominance didn't play a role. So I just switched up which razor I had in which hand and did the same side by side shave. So what are my thoughts on how they shave? So I was actually really surprised that to me they felt pretty similar. Uh, I don't know, I don't know specifically how the geometries changed. Uh, if you look at them from the side, they actually look pretty darn close. And I'll tell you, on my head shapes particularly, I was hard pressed to notice a difference. I might give a slight edge in terms of efficiency to the Hawk V3A, but as far as blade feel, I thought they were pretty close actually. Now some people do like full two, three pass shaves where they kind of normalize the difference between two razors because they're doing multiple passes in multiple directions and they'll subconsciously kind of alter the pressure they use or the angle of attack. I don't shave like that. I do a single pass. And so for these razors, I was doing a single pass across the grain, which I think gives a more true measure of comparison between the two. So that's for my head shapes. My neck was a different story. On the neck, I actually thought the V3A was a lot more comfortable. Um, something about aluminum razors, um, I tend to have the same problem with plastic razors. With lightweight razors, the thick growth on my neck, the razor just seems to skip and tug and doesn't want to cut efficiently. I didn't have that problem with the Hawk V3A. The Hawk V3A was much more comfortable, seemed to glide through that hair a lot more easily. So those are my thoughts on the comparison between the Hawk V2, the aluminum variant, and the Hawk V3A, which is the aggressive stainless steel variant. Uh, to me, head shaves, very, very close. Thicker, denser beard growth down on my neck, and I gave the advantage to the V3A. I thought it was much more comfortable. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.